Free diving. Do we recommend doing a free diving course living on a boat? Well, we answer that and more in this episode. This week, the whole family does our level one free diving course. We let you know what it involves and if we think before you live on a boat or if you're living on a boat, if it's worth it. We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. It's now 2021 and we saw our 2020 in style here at a beautiful resort in Uluwatu in southern Bali. Today though we are heading to the northern part of Bali, Ahmed, to do a free diving course. is up at the restaurant eating because we just can't fill him up. The kid is like a bottomless pit these days. So Taj, we have meals, but Taj has meals in between our meals because we can't fill him up. <laughs> we got our car, we're on our way to Amen. We've been wanting to do a free diving course for a very long time. But free diving courses are usually quite expensive, especially when you have to times the price by four. But during this pandemic, Bali is super quiet and not many tourists, so hotels, restaurants and tourist things have some good deals at the moment. So we signed up and are now on our way to Ahmed, which is a three hour drive from Southern Bali. We have been to Ahmed before in Catalpa three years ago and remember it being quite rolly. So we opted to keep Catalpa in the harbour and drive in a rental car. We arrived. Gonna check out our room. Nice and calm, we could have brought Catalpa. <laughs> oh well. I'm so rolling. We found a great place to stay on the beach, not far from the free diving school we found online. I give in. I'm storming, breaking like the tide. Oh, that cold venting. Every time. Oh. No, that's not for you. These are my three favourite fruits. I don't like when they give you a fruit plate and it's got all the fruit you don't like on it. <laughs> Sarah ate that much dragon fruit, she actually had a dragon fruit virus. <laughs> so take it easy on the dragon fruit, kids. Oh, it is delicious. So we found a freediving place called Fathom Freedive um, in a little town called Ahmed uh, at the northern part of Bali with a really lovely guy called Sam as our instructor. We freedive a lot. Um, we're always in the water and the boys spearfish a lot as well. So um, doing a freediving course was, you know, uh, we thought that it would be a really good thing for us to do. First day in the classroom. Not good in the classroom. No, it's actually, I shouldn't say that because the classroom's actually where I think I enjoyed most of the um, freediving course because I think for me it was the theory that I really got out of it um, was really good. Just breath work and knowing, without going too deep into it, actually knowing how long you can hold your breath for and how to um, sort of play around with your breath work on the land before you go diving. And um, understanding that, I, I was surprised how well a lot of us held our breath. I think Sarah got around four minutes, so she's doing all right. She went a bit hyper, uh, what are they, hypoxic in the lips. Lips started going blue, nearly passed out, but it was in the classroom and that's what it was all about. 
learning these uh, techniques, learn your limits. Everyone's limits are different. It's day one in our free diving course and we're about to go in the water. How do you reckon Taj, you ready? Yeah. It's been good so far? Yeah, it's been really good. What about you? Yeah, I've seen How long did you hold your breath for? Not as long as you. <laughs> Sarah's lips went blue. What'd you get? <laughs> Good! I didn't even press that. No, because I was all stressed. We did the breathing exercises, but I didn't really like it. It was kind of uncomfortable with someone watching me. So I was kind of like. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> like, I didn't hold to my full potential. Um. I thought it was okay. What were some of the things you learned? Um, I learned that I can hold my breath longer than I thought I could. Some other breathing techniques to help increase that time. And... Did you enjoy swimming down the line? Yep. You did? Yeah, I did. I uh, really enjoyed that. You know, swimming into the deep where you can't see anything. One of my favourite parts. Well, I learnt what our body does when we go to great depths. I learnt how to avoid blackout. I learnt techniques on to get down quicker and be able to hold my breath longer. We all went out to the water on a buoy or a buoy and then he put a line down with a weight and he showed us all the techniques on what we were doing wrong and what we were doing right and helped us get better at going down. What, were the, what was one of the things that you were doing wrong? Uh, still wanting to bring the chin in more. So you're looking at the rope just totally at eye level. Get into is as you're going down, checking, seeing am I there yet? Am I there yet? Which you did a couple of times. Am I there yet? Where's the bottom? Like you were aware of it because you checked and then you're like, okay, then you brought your head back again. No, it just takes your mind out of the right starts to put you in a headspace of slight anxiety about am I there yet, where's the bottom, you don't want to think about any of that stuff. Well, I learnt to keep my head sh like in this position instead of looking to the where I'm going. He said to focus on your nose or like your hand when you're going down and that helps you stay more focused. <laughs> oh, your alignment with your, yeah, your body and your lungs and all that stuff. <laughs> Sometimes I used to, when I was diving, I used to keep the snorkel in my mouth and we learned that that's quite dangerous because if you black out, the water will just enter into your lungs. But if you don't, you've got a reflex in your throat that will automatically close it off to the water so it doesn't go down your, into your lungs. Well, he put the line out to 10 metres when we first got out there and then we slowly progressed down to, or quickly progressed down to 15 and then 20 on the, well, 15 on the first day and then 20 on the second day. For me personally, we didn't, well, we learnt quite a bit, but not because we've been freediving quite a bit. We learnt only little bits. I think we'd benefit more from like the level two course. But if you've never gone freediving before, this is probably a really good thing to learn. Well, he did teach us another technique that I was already practicing and some other people on the boat were practicing as well, which was like tumo breathing, which is like, take like, um, hyperventilating in a way and it, your body feels all tingly and it's um is it eleva it's elevating the co2 in your body so that yeah you don't go free diving but it was a good technique to like, expand your lungs and there's a range of other benefits that he that he said it does definitely don't do that free diving because it interacts with the response in your brain so you just black out without any knowing do not do that when you're free diving otherwise i think some people have died doing that free diving what do you do differently now when you free dive Well, I keep a good alignment when I go down now. Having a clear mind, like a medita meditative like state when you go down. Yeah, that's probably my biggest takeaways. Yeah, to relax. On our second day of the course, day two, we're going for um, our second dive. Yesterday we dove to 15 metres and um, just practiced going down the line. So I think today we're practicing rescues and try to get to 20 meters. We just practiced the breathing exercises 
And then we went out on the line again and tried to go deeper and different ways to get down the line. And we also did the rescue on the second day. Raise her above you so you don't kick her in the legs. You've thrown her on her back. As you throw her on her back, the mask off. And then you go, <laughs> breathe, Bella, breathe. And then you do five seconds, breathe. Breathe, Bella, breathe. For breathe, five Bella, breathe. <laughs> breathe, Bella, breathe. <laughs> and then rest and rest in. Yeah. And then repeat the process until she wakes up. And if someone blacks out under the water, how to resuscitate them and how to bring them back. Well, the free diving course involved a lot of safety techniques. Um, a lot that I wasn't aware of um, and a lot that are so, so important um, to remain safe while free diving. And it is a very safe sport. Like anything, once you know the fundamentals and the basics of it, and apply the safety techniques that we learnt during our course, um, I feel that, yeah, it's, uh, you definitely lower the risk of having an accident or a shallow water blackout um, through the safety and uh, theory that we learnt. Being able to go down and be under the water, that's what I love, so yeah. Free diving for me is, is a, a beautiful, beautiful way to, to spend time and, and just clear your mind and yeah, I really enjoy it. So learning more, learning how to stay down longer is just that's a beautiful gift. So yeah, my recommendation is go to a freediving course if you're interested. What do you do differently now after doing your freediving course when you go freediving? Um, um, I try and be more relaxed to get my breath hold longer. Well, I think it was good to learn what to do and not to do safety reasons. You don't have to freak out, like say you're down there and you start going like, okay, I really need to come up. You can actually push past that point. So when you're down there and you think, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna make it up. You need to stay calm and you can actually make it up. So yeah, I'm glad I did it. It gave us, or I think it gave us more confidence in how to free dive. I reckon 100% worthwhile doing a free diving course just to make it safe. So um, you generally are in remote areas and you don't need issues, you don't need shallow water blackouts and um, you want to maximise your bottom time and uh, learn how to do it properly. I highly recommend doing a course. There was a lot of breathing up techniques, um, a lot of breath work. There was a lot of mental side to it too. And uh, spear fishing wise, was it, did, did you gain anything from doing a free diving course? Oh, definitely. It opened my eyes up to all the things that could go wrong that I wasn't aware of. Um, I definitely increased our, the bottom time for either um, spear fishing or just diving around wrecks and whatnot. I would say for most people that you don't realize how long you can actually hold your breath for. One of the things I did game was spear fishing. I'd always get to a point where I'd start to get my convulsions and I'd be like, okay, I've got to get to the surface. And um, after I won't go into it, but after learning a lot more, I found for myself, and it's different for everybody, I found that was roughly about my halfway point on breath hold. So I at least knew I wasn't pushing myself at that sort of um, zone where I was always really uncomfortable. I think learnt my limits a little bit more, like learnt how actually long I can hold my breath underwater. And for me, it's sort of a mind game, so I feel a lot more comfortable knowing that. And so I just want to say a massive thank you to Sam and the team at Fathom Freedive. Um, it was a really cool course, and um, I do recommend doing a, a freediving course for anybody who wants to get into it, um, especially if you live on a boat and you're going to travel remotely. Um, I think it's, it's a really uh, good thing to do. <laughs> Uh, just to expand your knowledge and make sure you're doing everything right. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. So we've uh, finished our free diving course. It was pretty fun. We went out and uh, we all dived to 20 meters and we did as much as we could on level one. So we're all stoked. Kids passed their test with flying colors. And uh, yeah, we are back at our accommodation. At the barbecue guest house on the beach. If you come to Ahmed, stay here guys. Very nice. And the owners are super sweet. I feel like you need your space. Prisoner.
We had the nicest little stay at this place. We'll definitely be back. We come back to Ahmed. Ahmed is famous for two things. There's good diving here and they make their own salt. So we couldn't leave Ahmed without free diving the SS Liberty shipwreck that we scuba dived here three years ago. Stop! 